What's up guys? It's Andy and today we're doing another barn vlog, lesson vlog, riding with your best friend because Casey's coming out to the barn with us today. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know who I'm riding or who we're riding with and we're just going to see when we get out there. Uh, it's pretty cold. Yesterday with the wind chill it was like negative five degrees or something crazy like that. So today it's about four degrees right now. There's no wind chill. It's pretty mild outside but it's going to be freezing so I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, let's see, I will not have a vlog next weekend because I work, so I'm going to try and plan some vlogs ahead of time, be a little forward thinking for the channel, even though, you know, it's not a huge deal if we go a week without, I feel like the channel's kind of plateaued a little bit. Um, most of my viewers are not subscribed to my videos, so if you like what you see, go down and subscribe. It's not the end of the world if you don't, I do this for me, I don't do it for you guys, I mean I love you guys and you're awesome but I like making videos, so it's more for me being happy type thing. Uh, on the agenda today, I'm kind of hoping that a lot of people are not trying to ride like last week because that was just an accident waiting to happen. And my gray Lemieux showed up. So I thought I matched it, but I don't actually. I'm the wrong shade of gray. It's darker than I had anticipated it being. I thought it was a little lighter, but that might've been because the website had a white background. Um, I'm looking for neutral colors. I really want to get the hunter green still, um, possibly the mulberry, but I think that only comes in suede and I don't really like suede. So I'm trying to just stick to the cotton pads. I'm going to let Casey take a look at my other saddle pads and let her pick out whatever she wants because I feel bad like getting rid of them or throwing them away. And I'll just see if she wants any of them. She said she'd take a look. So I don't really know what's going to happen today. Um, we're just gonna have to see. I'm thinking for some more videos, I might do like cleaning my grooming stuff and my grooming tote, since I'm not gonna be using my new stuff for a while. Looking at the riding clothes that I own, which wouldn't be a very long video because I don't have that much because I'm poor. And yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it. We'll go out to the barn. my shoulders and have her not listen to me. It doesn't come from your hand. Oh. Move that inside shoulder back and keep her over. Connect your calf the whole time. Calf. Don't let up. Calf. Close the fingers. Calf. Calf, calf, calf. Hard, 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 hard. There you go.
And then another thing Bella likes to do too, um, she really enjoys, <laughs> she told me she enjoys it. <laughs> you, she likes a long rain, especially after the can are warm up. And she traps with the longer rain and she'll like really stretch out. When you get cannery and you get jumping, that you know, then your rain gets going longer. But she likes to put her nose down and I, I think it's fine. I don't care. Yeah, there's no reason that we need to be tight on her. Good. Like that. That's great. Now this is a little bit of like a curve so that you get to the black straight. Ooh, that was a big curve. Right leg. <laughs> that was great. Now look right. Good. Open your hands. You can kind of get them out of your comfort zone. Now look early, turn early. Blue. And then you head towards the track. Oh yeah. Lift. Louis, this is a lot for Louie's brain, too. Eyes up. Now go right. Go right. Two, three. 
March right over it. Now a little left leg. Keep turning. And keep posting. One, two, one, two. Very good. That was great. All right, time for post-lesson reflection. Um, I probably started off this riding video by showing like where we started and where we ended. Um, and if I didn't, I should have. I don't know how I'm going to creatively make that happen. Um, again, and I'll probably put a little insert in before the writing clips because it's kind of a disclaimer. I usually will not vlog a lesson on a horse that I've never ridden before because usually the first time is pretty ugly and like I don't feel like that represents how I ride. But kind of what I mentioned in videos in the past, it takes me a couple rides to really get a horse down. And not to mention, I have been riding a new horse almost every single week for the past month, month and a half now. And they all ride completely differently. Their training is all completely different from each other. So I'm having to do a lot of adjustment, which is good for me as a rider. So gratitude for the day great for me as a rider to have to ride different types of horses, right? So that's a great thing. Once we got to the jumping, that all was fine. Like she's a cute little pony. She kind of reminds me of Daisy. She speeds up a lot when she jumps. She was getting a horse five um, instead of six. So I just kind of like stayed up there. I stayed in my two point off her back, but kept my chest up. So that was good. Like I think the video looks pretty good. And yeah, I was impressed with the rest of the lesson. All in all, I think it was a good lesson. I brought my grooming kit home, it's in the back, and I'm gonna be doing a grooming tote cleaning video of some sort. I also wanna do a cleaning tack and Q&A type video, so if you have any questions you wanna know, comment down below, let me know, and otherwise I'll just be pulling like a generic list for Q&As for equestrians and kinda of going off of that in case for some reason we grow in subscribers this year and people wanna come back to the video and see what questions I covered and like what I discussed and whatever. So that's it for today. We'll see y'all in the next vlog.